Well, how about that? For the first time since their inaugural appearance in the NCAA tournament back in 2009, the South Dakota State women's basketball team has won a first round game. They advanced past the Miami Hurricanes 74 71 here on a neutral court at Maples Pavilion at Stanford University. It was a back and forth affair throughout the entire first half. SDSU had a 34 to 30 lead before Miami went on a 9 0 run. However, freshman sensation Madison Gieber hit a clutch three just before the halftime buzzer, and the Jacks were down just two at the break. I honestly think one of the biggest shots we hit today was Maddie's three before halftime. Uh, after I thought, you know, Miami was kind of a little bit run, a little comfort zone, uh, that three really settled, I think, our team down going into the locker room, and we came out and played really well early in that third quarter and just carried it through and, and had enough at the end to, to sneak one out. Obviously, being a freshman, it's a different experience out there, but um, our team really moves the ball really well, and um, just having a confidence in my team gives me more confidence in myself, so... I'm just having so much confidence in my team knowing that they're going to move the ball and um, they're going to knock down shots really gave me the confidence to knock down my shots as well. A couple of very unique situations in the last two years for SDSU. Last season at Oregon State, the Jacks were up by two points at halftime. This year against Miami, they were down two points at halftime. In the game at Oregon State last year, the Jacks came out flat in the second half and they didn't want a repeat performance of that this season. At halftime, we told, told each other um, this next se second half, um, we need to go in just like the first half, but even better, going tougher, play better defense because they're going to come out even stronger and they're going to want it and we wanted it more and I felt like we really had a good second half. We didn't talk about anything from the past. We talked about the things that we needed to be better at. Uh, we had more of a post presence in that second half. We were able to go inside to Clarissa and Ellie some. The first half we had a hard time even throwing the ball in without turning it over. So we had better presence, I think, there. We had more penetration to the basket. We talked a lot about guards being a little bit more aggressive trying to create some offense. SDSU had a great third quarter. They outscored Miami 18 to 9. In the fourth, they led by as many as 11 points, but Miami kept up the pressure literally, applying some full court pressure to the Jacks that caused several turnovers. SDSU had 22 total turnovers in the game, including 11 by Macy Miller. That's a physical trap, you know, that's right on the border between being able to, to break it and make a good play or a turnover. I, honestly, I just thought we were pretty tentative against it. There were some times we got the ball in and on the point of attack and we were pretty aggressive. We didn't have a lot of trouble getting through it. And other times where um, their point of attack was better than ours, we kind of got going sideways with our head down and just didn't see the floor very well. So from our perspective as coaches, we need to do a better job of just getting spacing, getting players confident about the angles we want. Um, and uh, we can help them better in those situations next time so they, they feel better about it too. Nevertheless, Macy Miller provided the steadying hand. She nailed a couple of clutch free throws down the stretch. Gabby Bover hit a critical free throw down the stretch, and SDSU was able to hold off Miami 74-71 as they advanced to the round of 32 for the first time since 2009. I'd say it's huge for our program. Um, you know, it's been a while since we've won a first round game, and I feel like um, it's a very big deal. The Jackrabbits will now play the host school here, Stanford University, the four seed on Monday night at 6 o'clock Pacific time, 8 o'clock back in Sioux Falls. Now, just because SDSU ended a six game losing streak in the NCAA tournament and got to the second round for the first time in seven years, that doesn't mean they're going to become complacent. We've been at this for a long time and we know how special these opportunities are. Um, no one on our team is going to take it for granted or relax right now. Um, just getting to an NCAA tournament is difficult, although we've, we've made a habit of it. Uh, and we're going to do everything we can to, to keep this going. Once again, South Dakota State against Stanford Monday night here on the campus of Stanford University inside Maples Pavilion at 6 o'clock Pacific time, 8 o'clock back in Sioux Falls. We'll have plenty more on our YouTube page in the coming days as SDSU prepares for the second round of the NCAA tournament.